We are back at the Bend, Oregon Blockbuster, the last blockbuster on the face of the earth for one last trip before we leave town. If you watched last week's episode, you know that this is the last open blockbuster on the face of the earth. And actually, this is one of the only open video stores left probably on the face of the earth. When I started this series, it was before all the video stores were closed. Well, at least uh, Family Video, they were still open. There were several of them open in my area, and I always intended on having this segment at the beginning of the video where we would go into the store and kind of look through videos and pick out a movie. All the family videos are closed now. All the blockbusters are closed now, except for this one. So while we're here in Bend, Oregon, we're gonna take this opportunity to go in and pick out and rent some movies. Okay, so we don't really have any kind of plans of what we want to get. We're just going to look around just as you would do in the old days and pick out any movie that looks good. So we've got all the new releases around the sides here. I love how they have these boxes up here that say The Last Blockbuster. Ooh, look at this. They have Alone. Hmm. I wonder if that would be pretty good. What do you think about that one? I think that is going to be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I love these kind of movies. They're like white knuckle thrillers. Mm. Well, and it also looks like it takes place among the trees. Uh -huh. So we'd be right at home watching that here in Oregon. What is that? Susan Sarandon? Yeah, it's not. Hmm. It's kind of a sad movie. Yeah, put that one back. <laughs> Ooh, here's another scary one. Come play. He's good at taking friends. That looks like the Red Rum Kid from uh, The Shining. And you know what? The Shining Hotel is actually here in Oregon, too. There is so much stuff that was filmed here in Oregon. Look at this fat man. This is Mel Gibson, and I think it's about Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> so another one that I wondered if they had in here is, let's see, Teen Wolf with Michael J. Fox. I don't see it here. I think it would be categorized under uh, comedy. Maybe they don't have it. I actually wondered if that one was filmed here in Oregon as well, but it wasn't. It was filmed in California, and it was uh, set in Nebraska. What do you got there, love? The Informer. Hmm. Oh, look, here's the last blockbuster you can rent. We just bought it the other day. Plus, I think it's still on Netflix right now. The Little Things. This would probably be a good movie. Rami Malek, Denzel, and Jared Leto. I can't stand Jared Leto, but he is a good actor. Do not waste your time with this one. Kevin Costner, let him go. This was a horrible movie that dragged on forever. Oh look, they have Robin Hood Men in Tights. I love these older movies, the 80s and 90s movies. I'm such a sucker for that kind of movie. This one was kind of stupid too, The Marksman. Liam Neeson is one of those actors who like, no matter what movie he does, he plays the exact same character. Look at this one, Oh Brother Where Art Thou? Paul Blart Mall Cop. Even though I have most of these movies, I just love seeing them in a video rental store. Yeah, so funny. In Pixels, I think every time I filmed in uh, uh, family video, I picked this up and was like, yeah, I gotta get it, but I actually have it on DVD and Blu-ray. Oh, yes, we love the 90s. Look at this. The Great Outdoors, Coneheads. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen Coneheads forever. Captain Ron, I don't know if I ever saw that. Men at Work, Turner and Hooch, Son-in-Law, Weekend at Bernie's is hilarious. And Uncle Buck, I haven't seen this one forever either. So I watched at least most of this one a while back and it was so boring. I thought it was gonna be so much better. John C. Riley did such a great job. You couldn't even tell it was him. 
but the movie itself was just not very good. Oh look babe, they have Parasite. Remember Josh did that review on this one? And he said it was so good. I actually thought this one was like banned or something, but apparently not if it's at Blockbuster. And Google is psycho for the Airbnb. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm and we're in an Airbnb. And we hear noises at night. Yeah, our Airbnb Ooh. is totally haunted. There's this weird sound in the middle of the night, like somebody dragging chairs across the floor. And last night I laid there in bed listening to it like, she yelled at me one time because she's like, what are you doing up here? And I wasn't doing you, anything. Like, rearranging furniture? <laughs> and I wasn't doing anything. So then last night I'm laying in bed and I could hear this, like chairs being pulled across the floor, dragged across the floor. And there was nobody else there, nothing else going on. So I went outside today and looked all over the roof. I thought maybe it was like a big tree branch or something that just kept blowing in the wind. Nothing touching the roof. Okay, well, I'm still on the hunt for Teen Wolf. This is all drama. I highly doubt it's in their family. Although it looks like this is all like cartoon stuff, which look at this. This is another one that was filmed in Oregon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Can't believe it. And look, because of Winn-Dixie, Remember when we drove out to uh, Napoleonville, um, Louisiana, to film all these filming locations? I spent so much time looking up the filming locations for this movie. And then when we got there, the whole town was a dump. I wouldn't even get out of the car. Ooh, here's all Harry Potter. I'll take them all. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't found Teen Wolf yet. They gotta have it. There's just no way. Beast. Hmm, oh, that's anime. This is more kids. I guess they don't have it. Are you finding anything over here, babe? Lots of movies. Yeah, look, Unhinged. We watched that one the other day. Yeah, that's the one with Russell Crowe. And he was crazy with road rage. Does that look any good to you? Yeah, I don't really like her. I don't think she's that great of an actress. I want to go back over here for a minute to the comedy because there's another one that I was thinking of. All right, let's see. We're looking for the O's. H H M N O. Oh, here we go. Overboard with Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. This is yet another one that was filmed in Oregon. I love this movie. And here's another one right down here. Short Circuit. This was filmed in Oregon too. <laughs> I think we're gonna get overboard. I don't think y'all have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, that's the original yeah. one. Yeah. I got um, overboard. You want that? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I mean, either one. You want that one too? Yeah. Okay. There's nothing like going into a movie rental store and getting a stack of movies for the night. Oh, this one's awesome too. Escape from Alcatraz. Babe, we have to yes. visit Alcatraz sometime. Yeah. Where is that? New York? I think it's in New York, isn't it? I think so. I really like him. He is a good actor, but this movie was absolutely yes. horrible. Remember, it was about that yes. weird yes. alien guy that went into the yes. neighborhood and yes. couldn't get out. Oh yeah, the test of all time. I have to see if they have it. Now, hold on. F G H. Okay, hold on. Maybe over here. Where is it? Where is it? Please have it. Here we go. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Yes, any self-respecting video store always has. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Oh, and here we go, How to Eat Fried Worms. Luke Benward, he was also in uh, Because of Win dixie He played Stevie Dewberry. That dog looks like a dirty carpet. How you doing, love? You finding anything else? No, but I'm looking for an old, old cowboy movie with, I'm not sure who was in it. I think they have a uh, western section over here by the comedy if you want to go check it out. Oh yeah, over there. We're coming westerns. Okay, so you don't remember what this is called? Something uh, sun. Something sun. Hmm. Let's see. I wouldn't put it past them to have it. Because they have a lot of stuff in here. I'm not seeing anything with the name sun though. Oh, Jeremiah Johnson, yes! <laughs> you wanna get it? Add it to the stack. Oh, and for you horror aficionados, The Ring. 
was also filmed here in Oregon. I love it. And yeah, the Overlook Hotel, the exterior shots for this movie, The Shining, were actually taken here in Oregon. If we have time while we're here, I want to go find that hotel. Oh look, here's the Alamo too. Um, this is with Dennis Quaid and Billy Bob Thornton. I actually considered doing this for Saturday Night Snack in a movie when we were in San Antonio. Because we went to the Alamo, but you couldn't film inside. Okay guys, well that was awesome. It was fun going through a video store that was actually open now and picking out movies, just looking at what all they had, even movies that we own already. So what did we get, babe? All right, we got um, Jeremiah Johnson. Who doesn't love Robert Redford in this movie? <laughs> Overboard with the real one with Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell alone. That's a new one, so we're going to watch that later. That looks pretty freaky. It does. And the Stepford Wives, the real one, not the remake. Yeah, not the remake. Yes. All right, so we got some good movies there, and then I got a Blockbuster membership card, but this is just a fake one. This is the real one. All right, guys, we're going to get on the road. We're going to get to... Ulta. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's do that again. <laughs> they don't care if we're going to Ulta. <laughs> Maybe they do. Maybe they do. All right, guys, we're going to get on the road, head back to our lodge, and figure out what kind of snack we're having with our stack of movies. All right, guys, for anybody who doesn't know, we are staying at an Airbnb here in Oregon while our RV gets fixed back in California. This place is awesome. If you want to see the whole place, come over to our other channel, Romancing the States. We have a full tour over there, including a couple videos where you can see out these doors here and out this big picture window. Tons of little chipmunks who come out here to eat, as well as the deer who come out and eat right off these two logs right here. It's pretty incredible. Before we get to the snack, we have to show you our awesome blockbuster gear. Look at this, we got shirts. Turn around here, babe. This one says the last blockbuster on the planet, Bend, Oregon. And then the side of our sweatpants both say blockbuster. And this shirt I actually had to make because I didn't have my size. But it's the typical Be Kind Rewind shirt with the ticket logo on it. Okay, so for tonight's snack, we are going to make... Boboli pizzas. I don't know if you guys remember these things, but they are absolutely delicious. It's been a long time since we've had them. It was her idea, and it was a good one. We made some the other night to test them out. They are delicious. So we got two mini Boboli pizza crusts. You can actually get these in the bigger ones, too. We got some mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, grated Parmesan, Italian seasoning to sprinkle on top. We have a bunch of olive oil, even though we don't need near that much. <laughs> and some pizza sauce. Now we just take these out. I used to just open these up, put the stuff on, and stick it like in the microwave. But that's totally wrong. So you take your pizza crusts out, and you can see that it's a different texture on each side. This is smooth, and this has like the, I don't know, a little bit of cheese sprinkled on it and baked. These are actually pre-cooked, but what we're going to do is put them on the pan and then the little lady <laughs> is going to take some olive oil and brush it onto each of the pizza crusts. Once that's done, we're going to get this oven preheated. We're going to heat it to 450. <laughs> delicious already. We're going to put them in the oven for, I think it's like 10 to 15 minutes. What do you think? 12 minutes, something like that, right in between. And then, and then we'll come back and we'll do a, uh, a taste test for you. And we're going to watch our movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. And the best thing about these pizzas is that they are... Oh, take two. Can I just talk? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, 
And the best thing about these pizzas is that they are the perfect size to go right on the plates. Even though they're so small, we're still cutting them up into little pieces just like a regular pizza. Look at this, this is so delicious. And the little lady is doing such a good job cutting them up. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if we had another camera going to capture everything that's actually happening in here while we're filming this, I'm getting mad over here at everything that doesn't go my way. She's laughing at me and just being a good sport. <laughs> Look at the mess I'm making out of this pizza. I'm trying to get it so we can take a taste test and it's all discombobulated. I think you got it now, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had to pull these apart to let them cool down a little bit before we actually take our taste test because they are pretty hot, especially with all that sauce on there. Mm -hmm. All right, it has cooled down enough. We are gonna give a taste test of these delicious, delicious pizzas here. Grab your favorite looking piece there, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm taking this corner. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm Delicious. Mm-hmm. That is so good. And it's so much better this way. And instead of just putting the stuff on and sticking it in the microwave, mm -hmm. the crust is just <laughs> slightly crispy and delicious. Mm -hmm. So, all right, guys, we're gonna go have our pizzas. We're gonna get some blankets and pillows and cuddle up on the couch and watch our stack of movies from the Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. Make sure you come back next week. We have another awesome one in store for you that we also have filmed here in Oregon. We will see you guys later. Bye.